What's going on, OmniBuddies? Mitch here, and today we are back doing another OmniBuddy unboxing. I apologize that it has taken so long to do another video. It has been insane at work, and then I got back from like two weeks of traveling, and then I got sick, and then I'm back to traveling last week, and actually I leave again tomorrow. But you know what? I need to get a video done. I have a whole bunch of boxes that we need to unbox. All right, so what are we looking at? Well, we got uh, three sweet goodies from none other than our channel sponsor, Organic Price Books. Organic Price Books, use code OmniBuddy for two bucks off every order, or you can use code OmniBuddy, ship it together for 5% off your orders of three or more books. Gives you a huge percentage off. They all ship together, so be careful with pre-ordering multiple books on that code, because you're waiting until the last pre-order comes in. Anyways, so we got those three, then, we have actually my first Mondo poster. If you don't know about Mondo, they do Mondo tees, Mondo posters, whatever, Mondo prints, whatever you want to call them. Uh, Mondo, see, right? Uh, I don't think it's gonna focus. Uh, Mondo, right there. So if you don't know about Mondo, they do insanely cool high-end prints, a lot of uh, pop culture stuff, so it's like, um, really some really cool Star Wars stuff some really cool Marvel and DC all those things uh, that are officially licensed and all that they are very limited print runs usually sometimes they do timed exclusives but a lot of times it's like 75 or 150 or 200 print run and once they're gone they're gone and the art on them are just phenomenal and it is really hard to get them uh, because they go within seconds and then they're on eBay you know they were you know, 50 to 75 bucks, and then they're on eBay seconds later for like two, $300. I just saw a poster on a Mondo trading group that went for $1,200. Insane stuff. But I was able to pick up an extra from San Diego Comic-Con, uh, an exclusive San Diego Comic-Con that they had a few extra of that I was able to jump on and score. Uh, We'll get to that last. That's pretty awesome. And it is comics related. So first thing we got, and I did pre-cut these open so you don't have to look at me cutting all these. And again, look at these friggin' double walled cardboard boxes and amazing padding in here. The, you know, US Postal Inspector thing saying, hey, this counts as media mail. Please don't uh, charge my people for it. Great bubbling. All of them are like that. And then inside, there's a small one, inside of the bubble wrap is a bubble wrapped book, which is just insane how much, how good a packing they do there. Ah, let's get this open. I am very excited about this one. I have been wanting to read this for a while and I, I didn't realize it came out for some reason. And so I had to back, get it off back order at Organic Price Books. But the passageway. So this is... Um, from, it's a part of a series called The Bone Orchard Mythos. This is volume one from it. This is Jeff Lemire and Andrea Sorrentino. And their art and storytelling is just next to none. So good. So this is the first book in that series. Uh, the next part of the series as of the shooting of this video, Black Feather, I think it's called, is coming out. I think it's they're on like issue two or something, maybe three of that. Um, so I think that's probably going to be a five part ish thing in there, maybe six. Uh, they generally keep them pretty tight, pretty close, uh, pretty pretty small. So then we have, again, Postal Inspector. This one done with nice paper. So sometimes you get bubbles, sometimes you get paper. But either way, it is really, really well packed. And then we will get this guy open too. And this one is two smaller books. So... Uh, these are all like premier hardcovers, which are uh, a little bit smaller than the uh, typical oversized hardcovers, but, uh, or they're kind of like the Dark Horse Deluxe hardcovers, which makes sense because these two, holy scissor time. These two, eh, it almost killed my books, uh, are part of Dark Horse and they match the Dark Horse Deluxe editions in scale, at least in format. We have two more Hellboy Mignolaverse books. We have the Silver Lanterns Club and Bones of 
of Giants. I was going to say Bones of the Giants. Bones of Giants. Very cool. Continuing the Magnola verse. Hellboy readathon. Sorry, my camera died. Uh, so, uh, but yeah. Two more hardcovers to go with that. So now we have these three Premier, I guess, Premier Edition hardcovers, which are really nice. Really easy to travel with. So that's nice, especially because I've been traveling so much. I do appreciate the uh, portability of these small scale books a little bit more than I used to. Uh, now that I'm traveling again, and we're kind of getting out of uh, COVID Rona times. And then we will get into box number three, which is not travel size. That is for sure. We got the slips in there again. We've got some bubble and we have one book that I have been waiting for forever it seems like, and I am very, very excited to finally read this. I've heard so many good things about it, and you know what? The artist is so good, and the writer's obviously prolific and amazing. It is a big boy. It is Seven to Eternity Deluxe Oversized. It's not an oversized hardcover, but it's more. It's a library edition size, I believe, but this is by Image, and it is a massive... This is a thick, thick book. Holy crap. Uh, very excited to finally be able to read this. I was not expecting a book to be this big. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a big one. But uh, Jerome Pena, his art is so good, you guys. It's just, even, even if you don't like the story, which it's Remender, so the story is going to be pretty good. Uh, even if you don't like the story, the art by Pena is just, just mind-blowingly good. Uh, yeah, and then it's got Matt Hollingsworth for color, which he's probably my favorite colorist as of this moment. He's freaking amazing. He's so good at coloring. Love it. Love the such a, such a good team. Uh, all right, now we will get into this. I cut open one of the sides, I think. We got a, I think it's the other side. Let's see how I can get into this a little bit better. Uh, let's see. Kind of pull this tape back. I am new to the whole uh, Mondo print stuff, but there you go. There's what it looks like inside. Nice and rolled up, nice and protected uh, because it is Mondo and their prints are very, very good. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get this out of here. Shake, shake, shake. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's cool. It's got like Mondo written in there. How cool is that? Anyways. All right. I have no idea where I'm going to hang this up, by the way, but I could not pass up on it when it was only 50 bucks. And oof. here we go, y'all. And this does fit well because uh, one of my books was by this author who this goes with, which it is, come on, Primordial prints oh my gosh and i'll have to look up the the artist because i i'm blanking on her name but holy cow y'all look at that i if you haven't read primordial it's got the rockets on the bottom so cool and this color holy cow this is a 24 by 36 and it is a gorgeous i'm gonna have to post some pictures of it online so y'all can see it and get some really good pictures of it. So follow my Instagram for uh, those photos that will soon be coming. I post tons of photos on all my hauls and all that kind of stuff. So if you're not following on Instagram, head over there for some great photo bait. Uh, that's it. Let me know what you're picking up in the comments. I love talking with you all about what you're buying, what you're selling, what you're excited for. Let me know in the comments. Love talking with you all about that. But don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, do all those things. Yes, but comment. All right, that's it. Take care. Stay cool.